Hey, it's Hannah from Hannah Brown Yoga and Body Work. We're going to be moving through a sweet little yoga Pilates flow here. It's not going to have a huge warm up or a very long cool down, so be sure if you want more of those, you can find a ton of them on my YouTube channel here, Hannah Brown Yoga and Body Work. But otherwise, I hope you enjoy this flow. I hope you feel nice and warmed up and energized. Thanks for practicing with me. Enjoy. We're gonna start laying on our backs. I invite you to keep a bend in the knees, feet on the floor. And take a few breaths to settle. And start to let the breath really slow down, breathing in and out through the nose. And start to connect the breath into the belly. So take a nice full inhale. Feel as the ribs widen all the way into the lower abdomen. And then as you breathe out, start to draw lower abdomen in towards the spine. Inhale, really widen out, almost like you're breathing kind of sideways here. Exhale, draw your navel, your lower abdomen slightly in and gently up towards the heart. So we'll keep moving through that. Inhales to get wide. Exhales to connect to your lower abdomen, maybe even the pelvic floor a little bit. So this isn't supposed to feel like, oh, like a crunch. <laughs> Just that nice little kind of energetic lift giving you that chance to think about the lower abdomen, think about this wrapping in of your transverse abdominal, that big corset-like muscle that wraps around the waist and kind of hugs everything in. And just feel how inhales expand, exhales contract and give you a little more stability. We spend a long time on breath here because breath is kind of the foundation of our practice. So let's find a nice little warm up. You can reach the arms wide, maybe cactus the arms if you don't have a ton of space. And bring your feet a little bit wider than your hips, maybe about as wide as your yoga mat. Take a full breath in. And as you breathe out, drop your knees over to the right side. Inhale to center. Soles of the feet on the mat. And then as you exhale, knees fall to the left. You'll come to the inner edge of the right foot, outer edge of the left, like windshield wipers. Inhale, center. Exhale, contract lower abdomen. Feel that pulling in as the knees fall to the side. Sweet, slow, and controlled. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Try one more either side. We're getting into the hips, warming up the spine here. And when you're in center next, stay there. Bring your feet kind of a hips distance apart. So straight line, hips, knees, feet. Bring your hands onto your hips. And start to roll the base of your pelvis towards you. So you're really pressing your lower back down into the mat. 
and then do the opposite. So roll your pelvis forward, you'll feel that space in the low back. And go for a few more of those. Rounding and then arching. And then we'll try to find this nice middle place where the pelvis is kind of level. Almost like you could balance a glass of water right between your hip bones. Notice how right hip and left hip are about the same height. One's not higher than the other. And your low back, is it pressing down? It's not lifting way up. There's just that comfortable space. Some lightness in the spine. Heavy the shoulders, soften the head, back of the neck. And then lift one shin so it's parallel to the floor, knee over hip. And then try the same thing with the other leg. Once you're here and your shins are just as parallel to the ground as like a table would be, squeeze those legs together. You'll start to feel your lower abdomen turn on. And then bring your palms to rest on your thighs. Press your hands into your legs, legs into your hands. Does it look like much, but the harder you press, the harder this is. Check in that you can still breathe wide. Exhale, feel that connection to lower abdomen. Might add a little bit of fire. <laughs> And our low back is happy, it hasn't moved. Same with the hips. See if you can remember all of that as we start to add on. Inhale, stretch your right leg long. Keep the toes pointed or flexed. Make a decision, stick with it. Exhale, knee back. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, pull it in, don't move your hips. Inhale, right leg, bring it back, other side, inhale, get long, exhale, contract. A couple more times just like that, and once your thigh meets the hand, press them into each other. So the legs are essentially working the whole time here. And just for good luck, let's do one more either side. Soften up your jaw if it started to get crunchy and tense. And then give your legs a hug in. Maybe make some circles with your knees. All right. Bring your legs in. Give them a squeeze, knees over hips, shins parallel to the floor. Option to do what we just did, or reach your arms up like you're holding like a small dog over your chest. Really alive through your fingers. Breathe in, stretch right leg long, left arm. Exhale, pull everything back in, resist. Other side, opposite arm and leg. Hips and pelvis stay, stay stable. Whole lot of things to think about here. This is called brain sweat. So not just the body working here, the brain remembering all these things. Let's do one more either side. Let's go extra slow. <sighs> Give your legs that sweet, sweet hug in. And then bring your hands underneath your hips, kind of framing your sacrum, that triangular bone at the base of your spine. Try this with the knees bent to start. Squeeze your legs together. You can always put a yoga block or a Pilates ball between your knees if squeezing them together doesn't feel good. Inhale, 
Bring your toes down. Exhale, pull your knees back up. Your feet only go down as far as is comfortable. There will be a point where your low back starts to get a little bit mad at you probably. And just be sure to stop before that. Core work, not low back work. Level this up a little. Reach your legs up. Choose between that point or flex of the feet. Straighten out the legs as best as you can. And maybe your inhale brings the legs low. Exhale, pull up. You can imagine this like you're dragging something heavy down with your feet. And then resist like you're pulling a weight that's attached to your feet. Oh. Imagine like you've got ankle weights on that weigh 20 pounds each. <laughs> Now, if you can do this all very mindfully, keeping the breath slow, option to lift your head and shoulders up. Make sure that this doesn't all go to your neck. If it adds core work, great, keep it going. Let's go for five, four, Three, two, last one, extra slow, you got this. <laughs> Let it go, scream out a couple swear words, whatever. <laughs> And just for fun, let's add on one little extra thing. Bring your feet down. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Let your head rest heavy in your hands. Shins to parallel. Take a breath in. Exhale. As you contract through lower abdomen, pull yourself onto the tips of your shoulder blades. Cool, and then we'll switch it up. So as you exhale, reach your right leg forward, left shoulder, or right shoulder towards left hip. Inhale, center. Exhale, left leg long, left shoulder to right hip. Center with your inhale. Exhale, turn left, right leg long. So these really painfully slow little bicycle movements. Now, again, if you want to add on, as you bring one shoulder to one hip, think of lifting that hip up to meet your shoulder. Get that little bit of lift. You might find the lower abdomen starts to work even a little bit harder, as if it needs to here. <laughs> okay, one more either side. These last ones, extra slow, like you love it. Ah, and breathe. And turn on to one side. I'm on my right side. I'm going to bring my right forearm down. Elbow is under the shoulder. Forearm is parallel with the short edge of the mat. Option to do this laying down instead, but I like a little bit of propping up. Now straighten out your legs, flex the feet like you're just standing here, 
standing sideways. And start to lift through the lower waist, almost like someone's grabbed your shirt and you're getting pulled up. You can imagine like there's a little tiny egg under there and you don't want to lean into it and crush it. Just get light. Inhale. As you exhale, squeeze your inner legs together, lift your feet. Inhale, drop them. Exhale, contract through your obliques on the top side. Inhale, lower. If this starts to hurt your side, roll a little bit so you're more on your glute. And you'll have a little more padding. Probably feeling this in the legs, the core. So you can see I tip. Try not to do what I'm doing there. <laughs> Strong and stable. All right, when you're ready, stay up with your legs. Maybe you point the toes here to feel fancy. Point your toes forward and back. So kind of swimming the legs. All right, next time your bottom foot is forward, go for a couple little pulses. Remember that feeling, lifting through lower waist. Let's go for three, two, one. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Drop it down, switch sides. So option to lay down on your bottom arm or get your shoulder a little more involved. Press down through your arm that's on the ground. Maybe your fingertips are in front of you. Maybe they're on the waist for a little extra challenge. Flex your feet, squeeze those legs together, lift and lower. Upper body is stable and strong. Lower body's grooving. It's moving. So this isn't a process of doing this all perfectly. This is a process of consistently correcting yourself. So just notice if there's any part that starts to fall out of alignment, try to bring it back in somewhere where you feel strong and stable. And then let's point the toes, go for a little swim with your feet. Still breathing wide, drawing lower abdomen in. Next time your bottom foot is forward, keep your legs lifted and pulse. Let's go for three, two, one, plant it all down, <sighs> let it go. Let's come to laying on the front of the body here. Maybe bring your forehead or cheek down onto stacked palms. When you're ready, let's find a nice little sphinx pose. So bring your forearms down onto the mat, elbows under shoulders. You could squeeze the glutes here, press the top of the feet into the mat, lift the knees. And think of pulling yourself forward like you're trying to slide forward like a little slug or something. Like you're trying to pull your heart through your arms. Inhale, get a little longer. Exhale. Maybe contract through lower abdomen. Hmm. 
Nice. <laughs> Let that go. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Make your way through a tabletop. We'll meet in a down dog. Maybe pedal out the feet. Let this go. Inhale to reach your hips up and back. Exhale, bend your knees. Roll your way forward. Plank, knees up or down. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, your variation of plank. Inhale, down dog. Go for a few more of those. And when you're ready, let's meet in a plank. <laughs> Hold it, hold it, hold it. Slowly drop the knees down. Come back, sweet child's pose. Hips to heels, knees could be wide, head to the earth or on stacked palms. If you don't love that variation, come to a tabletop just with the forearms down and let your head hang. And take your sweet time to come up to a table. Let's tuck the toes under. This part's optional if you're tired of this one. Stay in tabletop, otherwise down dog. You could stretch the right leg long. And then step that foot forward. And lower the back knee down. This nice low lunge. You could always have your hands up on blocks. Take an inhale, drop your hips, reach your heart forward. Exhale, walk yourself back. Straighten that front leg. Inhale, crawl your way forward. Lunge. Exhale into your hamstring stretch. One more, just like that. Step it back. Either down dog or stay in table. Extend your left leg. And step it forward. Lower the back knee if it's not already. And I think we did about three of these little flows. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, hamstring stretch, head drops. Inhale, did I say inhale? I mean exhale. Inhale forward. Exhale, hinge back. I might need to fix that in post. <laughs> Step forward. Plant your palms and come back, down dog, maybe a child's pose, whatever you'd like. Eventually, slide right knee to right wrist, pigeon pose. You can have your shin on whatever angle you'd like. You can straighten out your back leg, maybe even hinge down. If it feels good, you can roll your spine down and lift it up a few times. Spinal rolls. And if your knees say no to that, roll onto your back. Right ankle over left thigh. Maybe left leg comes in. Take two more breaths wherever you are. Hmm. 
Make your way out of this shape and try it on the other side. Stretching the left side hip and glute. Knees are happy. Maybe a few spinal rolls if you're doing this forward facing pigeon. Maybe rolling onto your back, pulling your legs in with left ankle over right thigh. Two more breaths here. If you're in this forward facing pigeon, come up, lean onto your left hip, slide your right leg forward, make your way down onto your back. If you're already on your back, just meet us here. Rock a little bit side to side. And then let's meet laying on our backs one last time. Knees bent, feet on the floor if you'd like. Just take a couple breaths here. Notice if you feel a little different than when you started. Stay here for a few more breaths, hopefully more if you have the time. And when your mind starts to wander, bring it back to this moment and this breath. You've done enough. Let yourself rest. So that was it for our Pilates yoga flow. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're feeling energized and ready to take on the rest of the day. If you want more practices like this, feel free to check out the rest of my channel, Hannah Brown Yoga and Body Work. You can follow me on Instagram, Hannah Brown Yoga. You can find me doing live classes online on Insight Timer and through my website, hannahbrownyoga.ca. It's all linked below. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Peace.